In this video, I wanted to share with you guys some of the apps and resources that I use to help me plan my photography trips. So I am a complete travel junkie. I love to travel and find new places to go to point my camera at beautiful things. And uh, there's a lot of logistics involved with going on these trips. First of all, you have to plan it. You have to figure out where you're going and why. And then you have to figure out all the little logistics of, you know, what time is the sun setting and, and all of those type of things. So there's a whole bunch of apps that I use to kind of help me plan these trips. And I wanted to share a few of those with you right now. So uh, the first thing that, that I really use quite a bit to plan my trips is just in weather app. You need to know what the weather is going to do for your trips because a lot of time that a lot of times that dictates whether you're going to get good photos or not. So the app that I like to use is Weatherbug. And when you open it, uh, basically it's it's pretty straightforward. You can enter what location you're looking at. I'm thinking about going to the Oregon coast this weekend, so I have Newport, Oregon here. And what's cool is you can uh, click, you can get your 10 day forecast, you can click on a day and it'll give you some of the details. You can get an hourly update seeing like, okay, it looks like, ooh, possibility of thunderstorms tonight. That's cool. So you know that, you know, right about uh, just after sunset, it looks like that there's going to be some cool weather rolling in. That'd be a great time to be there. It'll also be a scary time to be there, but it'll be a good time to be there. One of my favorite parts of Weatherbug, though, is because I like lightning photography so much, is they have a feature called Spark. If you click up here, you go down to Maps, and then not lightning, but Spark, you go down here, and it gives you a interactive live map of everywhere in the world and all the lightning strikes. So we got nothing up here in North America right now, but down in South America, looks like there's some pretty cool storms. You can zoom in and it'll give you a map of every single lightning strike and it updates itself so you can you can kind of use this to chase down lightning storms. There's a mobile version as well. I use that all, all the time when I'm traveling. And uh, this is pretty much my favorite weather app because of this feature. It's pretty cool to to uh, be able to chase down lightning storms like this. So that's my weather app. That weather is probably the most important um, thing to me uh, when it comes to planning my trips. Then I also use Google Earth here. Uh, and what I use Google Earth for is several things. You can kind of get an idea for the lay of the land. For example, let's... Let's zoom in here and let's say that I want to photograph the Tillamook Lighthouse, which is this really awesome lighthouse that is uh, just out in the ocean um, and it just gets battered with big waves and stuff. It's it's a it's an abandoned lighthouse for obvious reasons. I can't believe they would even build one there, but it's out on this rock and during uh, high tide and big storms, it just gets pummeled with huge waves. So that's a great place to go if you want to photograph big waves crashing. It's out in the ocean. It takes a long lens to shoot it, but uh, by using Google Earth here, I can be like, okay, so if I want to photograph this lighthouse, where would I go? And so I zoom in here and I see, oh, there's, there's a trail to this lookout. And if I click, it gives me all these little images here. Over here, you have your layers, and one of those layers that you can turn on is photos. So that's one of the things that I, I use to help me plan my trips. Not so much because these are good photos, because most of them are just cell phone snaps, but it gives me an idea for what's there. And anytime you see um, bunches of little, uh, little clusters of, of pictures, you know that there must be something there interesting. So like, for example, here's another cluster. Let's see what people are photographing there. Look at that awesome view. So I use Google Earth not only to help me uh, plan my driving route and things like that, but also gives me ideas for, um, you know, where I might want to go and what's there. 
uh, it gives you a, a great a great idea as to what is actually at the location that you're going to shoot. And I know from this trip that there's a little parking lot here, and this is kind of where you take off to hike from this trail. And Google Earth allows me to see that. So uh, Google Earth is another resource that I use all the time to plan my trips. It's probably the most useful one. So Google Earth is a great one. Another great one is the Photographer's Ephemeris. The Photographer's Ephemeris is a, it, it's available for desktop. It's free for desktop and um, you have to pay for it for the mobile app, but both are really useful. So what's cool about the Photographer's Ephemeris is that um, you can pick your location and then it tells you exactly when the sun rises, when the sun sets, where the sun rises, where the sun sets. So here, uh, for example, we're getting these lines and this is set to Tipsu Lake at um, Mount Rainier. And let's say that I'm wanting to plan a trip where I can photograph the sun directly over the top of Mount Rainier for a really cool uh, sunset. Um, so one of the things I can do is I can change my days on here. And as I change the day, you can see that the lines move here. And as the lines move, I see that, oh, it looks like the moon is going to set directly overhead on Wednesday, Febu February 10th of this year. And it's going to set right over the top of Mount Rainier. That might be a cool shot. It'll also tell me um, somewhere on here uh, what the, the moon phase is. And then I can just keep going forward. And what about the sun? So as I skip forward, I see that right here on March, let's see, let's say March 9th or 10th, uh, the sun is going to be setting directly over Mount Rainier when you're at Tipsu Lake. And it'll tell me the exact time of sunset. It gives me lots of useful information and you can, you can add pins and be like, okay, I want to save this location. And then you can kind of do your research that way. So photographer's ephemeris is another really useful one. Now, if you're into night photography, a really useful tool is this one. This is, uh, this is Stellarium. So Stellarium is a really useful tool for planning your nighttime photography trips. It helps you know when the Milky Way is going to be rising or a particular star or, or if you're going to be trying to photograph a meteor shower, it shows you the direction you need to shoot um, to, to photograph it. Hopefully this has been useful. I'll put links in the show notes to all these different apps and resources and stuff. Um, I use them all the time and hopefully you, this can kind of help you guys plan your trips. Thanks so much. And we'll see you in the next video.